hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new you know what to do subscribe like comment and share my name is almira and i hope that you're going to like what you're going to see <laughs> I actually chose to shoot a shower board because we've had so many vlogs on this channel and um, because I've been having like a lot of conversation around this particular topic I decided I should start with this so I've had a lot of or I've had some requests for this video and the manifestation video and I think the manifestation will be the next shower board to drop but anyway guys um, before we start and <laughs> before I talk about anything I just want you guys to remember that I am not a qualified health professional not yet at least but um the information i'll be giving in this video is just like information from my own experiences and um information that i've gathered so yeah let's get into the video okay so i googled the definition for what anxiety is right and the definition on google says it is a disorder characterized by feelings of worry anxiety or fear that are strong enough to interfere with daily activities that's according to google according to me what is anxiety i feel like anxiety is that feeling you get when you're overwhelmed and you don't know do i go left do i go right do i go forwards do i go backwards i don't know it's just like a crazy feeling but i think obviously google describes it quite well i feel like it's a feeling you can't describe once you get that feeling of not so good like i don't feel so good that you can't describe i feel like that's anxiety right so um i'm sorry that i'm looking down i just have to look at the notes that i wrote um so that's anxiety according to me what were my thoughts about anxiety before i'd experienced it I actually used to think anxiety wasn't a real thing like that is so ignorant of me but I used to think anxiety is not a real thing I used to think why do these people act like this when they're in a stressful situation you know I used to think there's no way until one day I experienced it for myself and I was like oh this is real and I was like oh my gosh so that was kind of those were kind of my feelings before experiencing anxiety myself and then my first like i was just saying my first experience was a little bit scary like it just came so like quickly just it just came like you know i can't say that i'd felt it over the weeks sorry and so it literally just came i was sitting in the bath i think that day my laptop had fell by accident of course and i had to tell my parents and i was so so scared because i was feeling just like pressure from other areas in my life mostly academic at the time and my laptop falls and it cracks and the screen doesn't work now i have to sit there and tell my parents that my laptop filed by accident and now the screen doesn't work i cried so hard that day i'll never forget how much i cried and when i told them they were like oh, okay it happened but it, these things happen but i just don't think that that's what my brain was expecting their response to be but the like anxiety just carried on throughout and from that first experience i've ex i experienced it quite a bit but i can say for sure that everything is much much better now and then um so that was my first experience and then obviously my thoughts after the first experience were just like oh my gosh um like it's so sad that people have to go through this i can't believe people thought um i can't believe i thought people could fake something like this you know and i just grew like more sympathy for people who had anxiety and even now i think because i used to think in a certain way when someone tells me that they're suffering from like anxiety or stress i just feel so sympathetic towards them i want to help them i want to make them feel better i feel like i need to reassure them that things are gonna be okay you know what i'm saying and then yeah um i think i'm gonna drop like couple of tips on how to cope um with stress or anxiety 
um the first one for me truly and i don't even think i take this advice but it's just to take like breaks from social media and people like sometimes you just need your own space you just need to come back to who you are you need to ground yourself you need to remember why you're doing certain things who you are because i feel like when we spend a lot of time on social media or we spend a lot of time with people we kind of lose ourselves in those things and then coming or like taking a break from people and social media kind of like brings us back to who we are and then taking care of your body this can literally be through what you eat exercise sleeping well sleeping well sleeping while sleeping sleeping is so so important i feel like when i don't sleep i know that i always feel like on edge and stressed out and stuff like that and then taking time to unwind you know doing the things you like if you like going to the movies if you like if you want to go out you know you want to go out for breakfast that you should do those things like you need to do things to unwind i don't think people understand that these are needs as a real human being you know what i'm saying and then my fourth piece of advice is to have a community i find having like i find that when i'm stressed having a community having people to support me when i'm stressed is like the best thing i remember the other day i was so stressed and i was so overwhelmed and i posted on my status i'm like i'm so stressed and i'm so overwhelmed i don't know what to do and one of my friends responded to that status and she was like just breathe it's going to be over and i was like oh my gosh like sometimes you just need that little you know you know what i'm saying and then um the last piece of advice that i have is that nothing lasts forever like that's the good news and that's the bad news i think i'm gonna give you guys like a little scenario obviously uh relative to the place i'm in in my life right now but like usually like when i'm writing tests i always feel like this weird pressure i always like i get under a lot of pressure so one thing i always say to myself to remind myself that it's really not that bad is that let's say i'm writing at eight o'clock for example if that test is an hour i keep reminding myself that at nine o'clock it's gonna be over like when the clock strikes nine it that like that's all gonna be over like it's not worth it it's not worth it stressing about it right now because at nine it's gonna be over like at nine when that thing is done i can't stress about it anymore and that's a that's such a crazy thing because i've realized that with people who don't really suffer from like anxiety or stress obviously i think everyone suffers from stress so let me just particularly point to anxiety on this one people who don't suffer from anxiety like i've always heard them say if they're going to write a test or they're going to do something stressful they'll literally just say it is what it is you know like i don't know it i can't do it i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna stress about it i think um to some degree we really need that thing in our lives i don't know you know for the lack of a better word i don't know we need that thing to kind of keep us going and keep us moving i hope you enjoyed the shower thought don't forget to subscribe comment like and share and i hope you enjoyed the video